Hello, hello everyone. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Happy Friday, everyone. We made it. It's Friday, Friday. All right, let me go ahead and open up Facebook really quick. Madison, would you mind turning that down, please? Thank you. Okay, hang on. Move my keyboard so I can greet everyone properly. Nope, don't need that. Need this. Need this. And need this. Okay. I see you all. Hi, everyone. Hey, Amber and Kelly and Angel and Kateri and Wendy. April, thank you Amber so much for being here. Yeah, I did say hi to Amber. Okay, so how is everyone? Are you all excited? It's Friday. Well, let's just jump right in, okay? So if I miss any questions, go ahead and type them all in caps. Make sure you guys, you know, let me see them just in case. But welcome, everyone. In case you are new here, my name is Maddie. And this is Spectrum Art Creations. And today we're going to talk about ATCs. So I had promised you guys hey, that. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Donnie. I had promised you guys that we would go live and not only explain and cover um, what are ATCs, the whole thing, the who, what, when, where, why, how, right? Um, and then we would show you some examples. So I'm going to do some show and tell as well. And then I'm going to. Um, talk about the challenge. And then finally, I will open up to questions, right? So we'll do a Q&A in case I've missed anything or you guys have additional questions. So um, we'll go from there. How does that sound? Sound like a plan? Okay, so a lot of you might be new to artist trading cards. So what are artist trading cards? And by the way, if you're not familiar, there's a couple of other terms that are also used for artist trading cards. You might have heard of ACEOs, or you might have heard of altered playing cards. So what are they? And what is the difference between those three that I just mentioned? All right, let me go ahead and explain what they are first. Artist trading cards are individual little masterpieces, okay, original works of art, that fit into a two and a half, I'm sorry, this way, two and a half by three and a half piece of paper. You could use anything for your background. Um, they, you could use paper, you could use uh, watercolor paper, you could use um, collage uh, papers, you could use uh, cereal recycled cereal boxes. You could use just about anything for your substrate, for your base, okay? You do want it to be somewhat sturdy. You don't want it to be too thin. So if you have something like this one, this is one of Madison's. It's just on a light piece of cardstock. This will need to be backed up before we are done with it uh, onto yet another um, sturdier piece of paper. And then that will create something that is much stronger, such as this one, right? Okay, so what are they? How do they even come about? Well, artist trading cards started as a really cool project um, by a Swiss, yes, a Swiss artist, because it was in Zurich that the exposition or the exhibition started. So what he did was he is, um, and this was in the, like the spring of um, 96, don't quote me, I, it's somewhere around there, because I remember it was around Michael's um you know, birth year. So it's in the in the early 90s. I know that. Anyway, he did an exhibition where he did an entire wall of artist trading cards. And basically all the cards made up this wall. And when he was done, what he did was he decided that if you brought him a your own, you could swap it with him. So he would give you one from the exhibition and then you would give him one in exchange. And that's where the whole idea behind this came in. They're called artist trading cards because they are just like playing cards. So if you were a kid maybe and you had baseball cards or maybe your brothers or, you know, whatever had baseball cards or maybe even later on in life, like the 80s and 90s, and they had, um, uh, you remember the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and, you know, all those other little cards that are the size of a baseball card, right? Two and a half by three and a half then you know you you're familiar with the size so when 
when we were kids, the boys would trade baseball cards, right? Uh, so you would say, hey, you know, you want to trade this player for this player and they could swap. Or you could say, well, this one's worth more. I want three of yours for one of mine, etc." The concept is the same. You make individual little pieces of art that you can either trade or you can sell or you can keep whichever one, of course, and use in your projects. So I'll explain to you the difference. Artist trading cards or ATCs. Really, the concept is you make a card in order to trade it. That's why it's called trading cards. ACEOs are totally different. Those are artists, no, art cards, editions, or originals. That's what that stands for. Those are for selling. So if I want to make this card and I want to sell it, it's the same idea. I mean, it looks exactly the same. Nothing has changed. The only difference is instead of calling it an ATC, I would call it an ACEO or also another term could be an ultra playing card. So what is an ultra, ultra playing card and how is that different? Well, very simple. So say you have a playing card. What do I have in here? I probably do. Hi, Ava. I should, let's see. Ava says I'm late. No worries. That's actually a recycled piece of paper. But. Um, yes. Donnie's is like business, business cards for artists. Exactly. So actually, Donnie is absolutely correct. Back in, in a day, instead of you having a calling card or a business card, you could do as an artist a little sample of your artwork. And then people would be like, oh, yeah, that's that guy. And it's a great idea for promoting yourself as well, right? This is an altered playing card. The same thing. There's nothing different about it other than the fact that for my base, I've used an actual playing card. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the difference between the three artists trading cards, ACEOs and altered playing cards. The same stuff is used, the same concept, the same size, all the same. They just came up with new names for whether you want to trade, sell or use a playing card as your base. Does that make sense? OK, so there is the. I guess, why don't we cover the who, <laughs> the what, what are they? Uh, we've done the when, when they started. And um, let's talk about the why. So why do we do them? Well, we do them because we're artists, because they're fun to make as well, right? So you could use anything, literally anything. And we'll talk about, you know, some of the stuff that um, we use here in a second. Actually, I'm going to turn this light on. I know there's glare in this plastic cover, so just kind of bear with me on that. I'm going to move some of this stuff out just to kind of go through this binder really quick. And we'll go through these as well. But I want to show you some examples because I think that's one of the biggest hurdles that people get is they ask. Oh, no, that's a lot of glare, isn't it? Sorry. Um, they, Ava, I'm good. I'm, they, I'm better than two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Madison's doing great. Um, you could use anything that you want on these, so long as it fits within that two and a half to three and a half. Now, some people are really, really sticklers because as you notice, they are put into sleeves, right? And so if you have stuff that's protruding out, I'll show you one that maybe has something sticking out. This one, for example, this one, and I don't know if it was meant to be like that. Maybe it was, that's kind of cool. <laughs> don't remember making this no I don't think so I think this has kind of shifted to be honest with you but actually you know what I'm going to leave it just the way it is so say for example this is the card that you're going to receive well when you go to put this into your sleeve it really won't fit well this one did uh, let me find another example I'm sure I have one if you have something that's sticking way out I always have because I love making them dimensional and so I love, okay, here, perfect example. This fairy has wings sticking out, okay? If I try to put that into a, a sleeve, it won't fit. Not without getting damaged, see? It won't fit. I would have to really push it and then end up bending that wing. So really, it's supposed to fit within that frame of two and a half by three and a half. However, you know, sometimes it's nice to do a little bit more and kind of have things coming out the sides or maybe some stuff dangling. I've done some with like dangling chains and stuff like that. Is it going to fit into a pocket? Not really. Um, so some people are really big sticklers about 
hey, it's got to fit within that two and a half by three and a half. And that's the end of that. Mm. I'm flexible. And again, when you're trading, you decide. So, you know, you could decide, hey, I'm not even going to go for that because I want mine to fit all within sleeves. Or you can make exceptions, right? Okay, so why do we make these things? Like I said, because they are great for um, a great way of making little bits of art. It's not intimidating. It's not a full page. It's, you know, very confined. Uh, it's great for smaller things. It's easy to make in the sense that you can, you know, make one or two or three or nine fairly quickly because of the size, right? Um, also, because they're fun to trade. There is, to me, a lot of the fun is being able to trade these and kind of have a little bit from, you know, from each of you in my binders and remember that and, you know, have a little original piece of your artwork. Then the other reason is because even if you don't trade them, you can use them. So you can use them for a whole lot of things. You can use them for pockets. So you can put them in your journals and make tuck spots, right? So say, for example, we'll pick on this girl right here. Um, let me get a book. For the journal. So say, for example, that this is your book. You could put them this way and then be able to tuck. Do I have a, something? Be able to tuck stuff into it, right? You could use them yes, Lisa. as huh? sometimes it's hard to do such as a small piece and it could be with the whole piece. Sometimes it could. It depends, you know. Sometimes people have a really big problem with breaking a big page. They just, you know, they get overwhelmed. And so ATCs are great. You could um, but yeah, sometimes you're like, oh, it's kind of small. So you do need, and we're gonna talk about some of the materials, but you do need smaller things too to be able to put in here, right? You could use them to make sliders, right? This way or that way. You could use them to um, for gift cards. So if you have a gift card, and let's say this is a gift card, right? It's a little bigger than, but you can make a pocket out of it and be able to tuck gift cards. You can make them into pockets for your journals. You could also add them to tags. So if you had a nice you know, tag, you could put that right in the front. If you wanted to use them also as um, clusters on your covers. So say this is your cover, right, for your book, and you've decorated it, and you want to put that in the corner. That's always such a nice touch. You can make mini books out of them as well. So there's a lot of ways that you can use them. They don't just have to sit in a binder at all. You can put them to use. And even after a while, because, you know, like Madison and I have about five of these binders. And I mean, they are stuffed to the gills, right? Um, after a while, it does get, you know, like, well, okay, I got to do something with these and, and make room for new ones. And if you want to do that, then you can use them in those ways. Uh, or maybe you're making a specific um, project, right? Uh, you know, and you need a fairy or a butterfly, you can come back into your ATCs or a peacock and use that one specific piece. Oh, this would look great on my peacock journal, for example. Actually, it's a rooster, I just realized. <laughs> but, you know, look how beautiful that is. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use them. Okay, so you can trade them or there's tons of purposes uh, for you to use them. Now, let's talk about um, some of the things that you can use. Because, and actually, um, who are, can somebody out there help us out with writing a list? And then I can collect it from you afterwards. And I love to put it up in the Facebook group with some of the items that we can use. And I mean, we're not even going to scratch the surface because pretty much anything that you have, you can use for an ATC. Anything. So these are, of course, images. So you can use your... Let me show you some things here I first. Know, I know what you can use. You can use... Um, washi tape. Yes, exactly. So, of course, you can use mixed media paper for your bases. So, they we sell packs, by the way. Like, let me see if I got one right here. Give me a hand. You know that I have one because I use them all the time. Just gotta find one. I'll be. Do I have it here on the table? I probably do, don't I? 
Yeah, I do have it on the table. So you can use. So you what, can is it, what makes it, that makes me a paper? One second. What makes it me, makes me a paper? What makes it mixed media paper? That it's good for different substrates. I mean, for different um, uh, crafting um, tools. So you could use, um, it's not specifically just for watercolors where it would have a lot more pulp. It would be more textured. It'd be thicker. It's a little bit smoother. It's not as smooth as, um, say, um, pencil drawing paper. It's got a little bit of tooth in it. So it's Aloha. kind of like in, bet in between. Hello, hello. So you could buy, and we we have these artist trading card packs. Okay, so they come already pre-cut in packs, just like this. Mm -hmm. You can do that, or or you can grab your own paper, be it mixed media, watercolor, and you can cut them down to two and a half by three and a half and make your own bases. You can use cardstock. A lot of ours, if you notice, have cardstock on them yes. what is this and then yeah sure um any paper honestly cardstock will work you could also use your decorative paper so i think i've shown you guys in the past where i've shown you that we have cases and cases and cases of pre-cut backgrounds so these are my solids right so this is mostly solids and you know color i mean like how can i explain it um, like solid colors, right? A little bit maybe um, of something on there. This is like not solid, but like textured. And we're going to talk about texture here in a second. So so we have this case then. And we have like six cases, by the way. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'll show you some of how I organize them. Hi, Wendy Benson. Hi, Wendy. You can also... <laughs> separate them by this case is colors god bless you baby so these are like brighter colors right these will have more like the brights all right i'm using blank playing cards right exactly those would be your altered playing cards and you could totally do that these are more vintage or seasonal so in here i'll probably have like halloween see i'll have christmas colors um and more vintage ones like you know stuff that looks kind of like ledgers you can cut up your books you know and I'll, we'll talk about books here in a second and what else is this case and this case here i'll show you that one because that one's kind of cool oh yeah when you said you should make a, a video tour of your studio and how you store some of your supplies oh i have a video tour it's it's in the uh it's in the here in the uh, youtube chat we did one like, I don't know, four months ago. So if you missed it, feel free to go back and check Johnny, that. Tell me the, the paper size. Okay, so these are the originals. So here you guys are going to see a lot of the original backgrounds that we've made. Uh, Madison loves making painty papers. So when we, and I'll show you some as well in full. These are all original painty papers that Madison has made, and we have basically cut them down mm -hmm. to ATC size. Okay. When he says, Oh, I have a bunch of those as well. I never thought of tr trimming them down. Yep. Here's some book pages. Like I said, you can do book pages, and she's used some gelatos or distress crayons yeah. on that. Yes. Uh, what else has she done here? This looks like it's a bunch of collage pieces of paper, and these are great for backgrounds because they have great texture and they just look different. Here she probably used some oxides. Can you tell she loves to play with color? <laughs> we just have tons of the original ones. Um, anyway, so whenever she plays, yep, whenever she plays with different mediums, um, because she has drawerfuls of painty papers, I simply cut them down and make them. Here's some, look. Here's some playing cards, see? Whenever she throws stuff and plays with it, I save them because they make wonderful bases for, mm -hmm. for ATCs. So this whole thing is nothing but, 
originals. Um, just different mediums, different sprays, different whatever she's put on here, right? You guys can see that. Oh, these are pretty, Madison. Look at that what one. Are they? I don't know. I don't know what you use here, but it's got some gold. It's like brush strokes, I guess. So, anywho, so that is what the basis could be. Now, the basis can also be fabric. Please. Why not? Yep. So you can grab a piece you, of. Do you paint the playing cards with just a purse? Playing cards are a bit tricky. And I'm going to tell you why. Playing cards are um, slick, right? We know that they're coated, plastic coated. They're meant to be plastic coated. So they survive a lot of handling, right? So for those, you either want to sand off lightly, right? Uh, and then, you know, just or no, whatever you can, you can also use, um, your Tombow mono. That is the best glue, the liquid glue for that's actually how I discovered that glue, by the way, I was so frustrated of having to sand my playing cards. And I was so frustrated with everything I put, any kind of glue I tried would just peel off. This is the only thing that I've used in the tons of glues that I've tried, and I mean tons, um, that you can go directly onto a playing card and it will stick. It will not lift. So this is your trick for that. You can also add a layer of tissue paper and tissue paper is really good about allowing a playing card coating to basically become a matte surface. Well, Nisa, okay? I bought non-coated ones. And oh, cool. Like, there you go. Yes. Okay. When he says watercolor brown should work as well. Okay. So let me not get sidetracked. So we talked about cutting your own from mixed media or watercolor. You could use cardstock. You can use decorative papers. Mm -hmm. Of course, all the gorgeous papers that we have is what you saw cut apart in those packs to make backgrounds. You can make your own with painty papers. So for example, I pulled some of Madison's ones from her drawer. Let me show you those. So this one is a, huh, look at that, a playing You're card. Welcome, Wendy. She does it exactly, thank you. I have older regular cards on recycle with this. Perfect. Alcohol inks, right? Uh, this one, what does she do? She did some, looks like some paints, then maybe some drips, and then she just like tore little pieces of paper. And see, this is the thing. This might not be your favorite page when you look at it at first. You're like, okay, all right. But once you cut it, and she used obviously a glossary, some kind of a um, book page. Um, once you cut these up into little bits like this size, they just take on a whole new life, right? Then of course this would get mounted on something else because that's too thin. Here's a master board. So this one even has a lace on it. So when you cut these apart, they're going to take a whole nother look. I'm always telling you guys not to throw away your um, mop-up pages, right? Hey, your, your, hey, Lori, your uh, mop up pages from your paper towels or baby wipes and this is why not only does this have great texture already you see that from the paper towel but also crinkles when we glued it out and even tears once we cut these down into atc sizes these will look amazing and these are just mop up pages so nothing was wasted whatever product we had we went ahead and just glued that as you can see onto a piece of cardstock and now we're going to have amazing backgrounds, right? Just from your I keep my mop up pages like this. Huh? Once it gets full, I kind of start doing something like this, right? <laughs> so these are all just mop up pages. So don't throw them away. You know, don't let them get out of hand either. But um, just go ahead and use them for backgrounds. This is a piece of a phone book. This one's already been cut down a few times, but look at this. This could even make a great bookmark. This is just Madison throwing colors at a phone book page and doing that. Here's another master board in a different color. This one's all yellows, apparently. We're going to talk about embossing folders because that is 
super important for um, ATCs. It's a great way. Again, ATCs are a very small size, right? So you want to try and create as much impact as you can in a small size, but have it work cohesively. Embossing folders is one of those touches that will really help you um, bring out beautiful elements without having to create too much busyness, right? But you can add texture that way. Here's another one. I don't even know. This feels like almost like wax. I'm not sure what she did here. I bet you these are um Pilaro. the other sticks you like to use. I can't think of them now. I don't know. Yeah, because it feels kind of waxy. It's super cool. These she just did this past week, I think. Right, Madison? So these would look amazing. Again, some stamping, a little bit of something, and then cut them down to size, and you have some great background. So, again, you use what you have. Mm -hmm. Your sprays, your gelatos, your markers. your markers, your scrap pieces of paper. You know, if you have little bitty just pieces of random paper, glue that and make a master board, right? And then you could have those to cut up as well. Okay, what else is great to use? Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look. I'll, I'll give another. Actually, help you look. This is the. These are um, mad magicals. Somebody help me. Moon shadow mists, right? So that's super cool. Here's another Lord, phone book page. That too thick. What's that? No, chipwood is not too thick. No, not at all. You could totally. Um, another super cool thing to use is going to be rice paper. Now, you could go two ways with rice paper. You could look for rice paper that's got smaller images, such as these, right? Again, something like, hmm, well, actually, these are probably okay. Well, this one might not be okay. So if I try to put that, I'm probably going to lose either most of some of the cat or it'll be so full that I won't be able to do very much with it, right? But the smaller images are great. Like, look at these right here. Not only do I have a background, but I have an image. So it's kind of like done. <laughs> Almost, right? Okay. Then the other thing that is really good to use yeah, is, really yes, busier, busier backgrounds. So busier ones like these make super cool ATCs. I'm going to flip it this way so you guys get an idea. Well, here's an Eiffel Tower. And look, it's literally two and a half by three and a half. So pff, that was easy. But let's go with like this piece right here. If I cut this right now, if I glue this down and then cut it, I'll get a little bit of that, a little bit of that, some of this, some of that. And those make the best backgrounds or even here part of the uh, Ferris wheel that would look amazing as well so don't shy away from the bigger ones just look for those pockets you know you're not going to think well i want to get a bike well that's not going to work right but if you get part of a, a wheel right here like how cool is that just this right here for this i'm going to show you a tool hi jenny hey jenny She's going home that work. i absolutely love that's this right here this I use as a viewfinder. So when I want to make ATCs, I can literally bring this like this and look and think, will that work? Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Uh, will this work? Well, maybe not. Okay, how about over here? Eh, not really. You know, so I can keep playing as a viewfinder and find what will work. Let's go back to this cat right here. Ooh, I want to show them too cool. If I did this, hmm, I could get a lot of it in, right? It's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> I can get the ears. So that worked, see? But that is a great way of doing that. So rice papers are great for your um, sure. projects. Uh, where's my other stuff? Well, it was here. And now it's gone. I grabbed some tissue paper too, but now I can't find it. Oh, I left it right on top. <laughs> okay. Tissue paper. Awesome. Especially if you're doing playing cards, this stuff, you don't have to worry about the fact that it's, you know, um, plastic coated because that's going to take that right off, right? Um, vellum. Gorgeous. Printed vellum is stunning on ETCs. Rub-ons. Perfect. Actually... <laughs> 
I noticed that when I was looking for like just a rub-on as an example. These rub-ons are great because they're smaller size. And I guess we must have been live and I must have grabbed an image to show somebody how to um, use a rub-on. And I grabbed an ATC, one of Madison's originals, and I just put Alice on there. So you can see how fun that is to be able to use your rub-ons, right? Okay, so rub-ons are great. What else can we use? We could use collage paper. These are great, right? You don't want the bigger images, probably not going to work, but the smaller ones, fabulous, right? For that, even something that's got bigger faces like this. Again, let me find my little viewfinder thing. Mm, this not really going to work, right? I mean, I'm going to lose her hair and whatnot. But there's some smaller ones down here I could use. Or I could do half faces. So I can use this half of a face on one. And then use this other half of her face on another one. That's kind of cool. So you see, you can also get creative with the bigger things. Uh, napkins. We talked about napkins. Napkins are awesome. The trick again is finding napkins with smaller images as well. If the leaves on this thing were the big right on the napkin, well, that's not going to really show as a leaf. But if I have smaller elements like this, like the little bird, that's going to be perfect. I can get, look, two beautiful ATCs out of that. Um, some additional rub-ons too for backgrounds and all kinds of cool little things would be great. Playing cards. Fabulous. For example, if you guys notice, um, these are um, originals, Spectrum Art Creations original playing cards. When I make a lot of our cards, I like to leave a lot of blank space so that you guys can add your own images, such as an Alice or a cat or whatever you want to do, or you can journal on them, right? These are two perfect examples of great bases. These are playing cards. Um, great bases for your let's see if I can get it to focus. For your come on. For your there you go. For your playing cards, right? So in this case, you could even grab one of those faces or that Alice like we talked about and just rub it right on there or whatever images you like to use, right? If you have like different images. Oh, Madison, where's that? Where are those images you were asking me to fussy cut for you? Can I have one of them, please? You were just working on those yesterday. Perfect, honey. I started to fussy cut this little squirrel for her. So... You could grab your images as well, right? Oh, this was fussy cut. And you could just layer that right on top, right? If that went together. So playing cards are a great way to also kind of have a background ready to go, right? So that's another great way of doing it. With that in mind, let me, um, yeah, it's getting overwhelming. <laughs> Hang on. Let me clear some of this stuff up. And I'm going to show you some great idea speaking of playing cards also that you can use oh before i forget yeah, german Lord. scrap german scrap another great tool for hang on let me find one here's this one another great tool for your atcs right i mean they're beautiful for everything but look at that oh my goodness how gorgeous is that, right? On a twall background, this is twall. Add it upside down this way. So you could put some butterflies. You can even do a half a moth and then a butterfly and then just create using that. So German scrap is another great tool for embellishing. With that said, if you guys have known us for a bit, we love collecting playing cards. I don't collect playing cards. Madison and I do not collect them because we just like to collect them. We love to use them as pockets. We love to use them as uh, bookmarks. We love to use them as all kinds of stuff, right? Um, for clusters. So we layer on them. But again, when you have really pretty uh, playing cards, you could have a really pretty base kind of ready to go 
So say for example, you had something like this. Look, we only have one of those left. Oh, how sad. And you layer your butterfly. I mean, look how pretty that is, right? So, and there are so many pretty playing cards, guys. I'm sure you guys probably have your own stash. If you don't, you need to start collecting playing cards. They're like the greatest secret to decorating or adding little pockets and whatnot or just little things tucked into pockets. Look at this one. That's kind of cool. Look at that. See? How pretty is that, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But we mm -hmm. separate ours also by, um, by like these are, I think these are all of our florals. And no, they're not all. Trust me. <laughs> I have boxes that I have yet um we've yet to sort out so yeah if I showed you the box you'd be like Maddie <gasps> what are you guys thinking yes we love collecting them because like I said they're great for adding to your projects these are probably all animals oh look at doggies so when you see playing cards kitties I have a problem breaking up cold decks Oh, do you? I have no problem. <laughs> Just bust them up. Because all I need is, and if you notice, on some of these, I still have like a good eight left. But on some of them, you know, as you use them, you only end up with like two of them. But yeah, look, horses, boxes. How many cards do you fit in this lot? You mean these? Oh, I can fit a lot. Look at this. This is like, I have a bunch of these. One, two, three. Oh, good. There's got to be half a deck, probably 20, 20 of them here. And that fits right in there. But some, I only have ones and twosies. So these are all of our animals, birds, flamingos, roosters, because you never know what you're going to need, right? If you're working on a nature journal, you're going to need birds, but you know, you might need something different. Or like I said, you can also make your own. But I wanted to show you that ATCs, I'm sorry, playing cards also make great bases for your ATCs, right? Do you sell the page sleeves? No, I do not. I could if you need it from Wendy. Okay, so now let's talk about, we've talked about um, some of the ideas as to the bases. Let's talk about the kinds of things that we could use. So we talked about, yes, honey, we talked about rub-ons. Was somebody writing these down? Can somebody please write these down for us and then um, email them to me? Uh, and then that way we can put a list in the uh, Facebook group. Yeah, Wendy, actually, even like Walmart and stuff carries them because a lot of people do the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and the baseball Pokemon. cards and the Pokemon cards and all that kind of cards, trading cards. I think now they have like these other games that people play like Dungeons and Dragons or something. Um, so. Is somebody able to write them down? Any volunteers? Because that's going to help everyone in the long run. If we have a list, I know sometimes that's kind of like the thing to, you know, that you kind of get stuck on. Like, oh, what am I going to use? My son does magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. That's the one I'm thinking. Magic Gathering or something, right, Wendy? Gathering cards or something. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, but they have all kinds of games. All right. Well, no volunteers. And I'll just move on and give you some suggestions. You can, oh, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it very, very much, as I'm sure everybody else will, because we'll all benefit from it. So thank you. Thank you, Lisa. We talked about the bases, right? You're so awesome. you guys have that. You can use your buttons, right? This is a pl plastic button. We can use brads. So this is a brad. See it? I haven't done the back yet of this, so it's still kind of ugly, but it's good because you can see this is a brad. Then you've got... Do you have Doctor Who paper when he says... No, I do not. No, that was just an image I found from online. Um, so Brad's lace. You could use twine. Of course, you can use paint, which I see some here, sprays. 
crayons. This one is all paper. Well, it's got a sticker. I shouldn't say it's all paper. So your stickers. This has got washi. And it also has some flat backs. Now these, this is really cool. Madison made this one. So talk about embossing. You see, she embossed the back. Then she made her own flat backs, which they're not perfect. Oh, you can see, yeah, they're a little wonky, but they're homemade, which is kind of cool. And then she used her Star Wars washi on there. So, you know, that's another great oh, way. Washi. Put, I put a card on there too. You put a what? A card? The Star Wars card. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Yes, baby. Uh -huh. This one has got another, and you can see it's a recycle birthday card for, you know, <laughs> so it's a greeting card. And I recycled the base because it was nice and sturdy. Why throw it away? It's got a brad. It's got little bling right? For earrings, a sticker, and then just like little scraps of paper. This is a scrap of paper. This is a scrap of paper border. Uh, and this is just a sticker. So, yes. I mean, so many different things. Let's see what else we can find guys to embellish with. Okay. Let's see. This one's got little pearls, a st string of pearls. So that's another one. It's got glossy accents on her dress or embossing powders. Mm -hmm. Embossing powders are awesome. Of yep. course, for dimension, these are all hand drawn. Look at these. <laughs> Kawaii Star Wars. These are hand drawn, but they've been popped up on, on dots for dimension, right? So we can use our dimensionals. I didn't draw that. She did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh god Eagles? hey it was a challenge right it was a challenge that we participated in and we were supposed Eagles. to draw something what you said, yes the little chibi lights that would be cool um real? let's see um how about wooden wooden elements these are those wooden gears right that we sell so you got your seed beads right um what else can we use guys and feel free to shout them out this is um hand drawn it's a skier that didn't make it <laughs> oh, gotta love it here's some trim shout out your ideas there's some fabric trim there at the bottom of the party use, hat um... here's another one that is uh been embossed so it's got dimension to it um you can also use these. What are these are called? I'll be there in a second. Um, metal. How about some metal? Metal keys. Mm, this one I did with, uh, well, there's a bingo chip, right? We talked about bingo chips. Bingo chip. A messy background. And then we did, um, oops. And then I did uh, embossing powders for the text so the text is and hang on let's see if you can see it mm, it's kind of hard anyway it's got texture to it because it's been embossed so when you feel it it's embossed um so there is an easy um one as well this one's got texture paste exactly yes good one this has got um ribbon um just ribbon and i ran it through the hole here and I just fed it through there. So use your ribbons as well. Mm -hmm. What else chip? jumps out? You can also use a bingo chip. Yep. This one's got some more bling. I did her whole headpiece with Take blingage. Your face, Rochelle says. Yes. So I decorated her hair and her earrings as well. Cream paste. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, foil. Why not foil? You could use foil. Right? And this one actually has a fabric background. We were talking about that. This is fabric back here. Stickles. What you say? Stickles. Yes. Here. Stickles are awesome. Actually, here, look. Stickles. Stickles on the wings. Right? And down here, I did some of the uh, little... Um, 
fabric, not fabric, um, I don't know what that is, those really cute flowers, and then with a little um, um, brad, tiny brad. And this was from a piece of jewelry that I got from paparazzi that I was done with. So I busted it apart. It had all these like hanging little coins. I busted it off and then just used a little one there. Here. What is this one? Yeah, you can also add some stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. See? So this one is outside of the confines of the two and a half by three and a half because it's got this sticking out of the top. But I wanted to dangle something off of it. So here's one. And this one's also got triple thick or glossy accents on that postage stamp and the metal clock metal key and then on the bottom. what's on the bottom oh it's got washi <laughs> no bingo chip bingo on this one oh yeah. this one yes on this one we did a bingo chip and then we did some uh stickles again on the on the poison bottle and some little more over there up there so see you could definitely um use just about anything you've got this one right here is what is called a um oh somebody help me no oh, what is this called pocket letter so how many of you out there are familiar with pocket letters pocket letters are really fun it's another way to take your ATCs to another level, which is super fun. That's right. Use all that stuff. Okay. Yes, you. Okay, cool. So Rochelle's heard of them. Anybody else out there? Or if you haven't heard of them, let me know. Say, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is this you speak of? Oh, we're going to talk about the backs as well in a second. We used to be in a swap. Yes, they're fun. So pocket letters are is a set. It's literally a sleeve like this, right? Okay. Where you do a collection of ATCs. So for example, this is not finished. This is just the backgrounds, right? After this, let's say that I decided that this the theme for this was going to be butterflies. I would put butterflies here, you know, uh, some string going this way, another butterfly here. So it becomes almost like interact, not interactive, but dimensional on the outside and the inside. So I can decorate all of these. These could be like windows to a house. I mean, you could do, you have to look at pocket letters. They're so much fun. But in the back of the pocket letters, what you do is you go ahead and you add a little something um, like sometimes you could put little things like some washi, a tea bag. Um, what else could you put in there? Maybe a little baggie with um, some glitter shaker stuff. Um, they're something. basically little gifts in the back is what you do. Maybe some twine mm -hmm. wrapped in a paper spool. So you're sending nine little gifts along with what's on the front. Decorate the front goodies in the back along with little letter. Exactly. Yep. So paper coupons. Yeah. So they're super, super fun uh, to make as well. Maybe in the future we can do that, right? Okay. What other ideas do you guys have for us? Because um, I've shown you metal, blingage, foil, acetate, charms, uh, charms uh, rice paper. Uh, let's bingo see if chips. I see any bingo chips. You can, this of course. This is never done a bit pocket letter. Oh, they're fun. Yeah, we have to do. You can hand draw them. I mean, they could be hand colored, painted, drawn. You could do stickers. Here's another. Madison and I made these together. Where's hers? Where's oh, this one is Madison's. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good, Madison. So she, um, we did his and mommy and daughter day. I don't know where mine went now. But maybe. But this is her. So she, um, that was her yeah, job. she did that one by hand. Look at this one. How cool. It's got literally a wooden branch stick. So, I mean, when I say anything, oh, isn't that cute? That was from my baby in 2017. Um, these are all hand drawn, right? Um, oh, look at this one. Yes. This is his acetate vellum. Yes. Acetate and vellum, you know, Oh, Close pin. Amber. Amber says that's a pretty good butterfly. Yes. Um, look, here's a set. Scarlet. You guys know I love Gone with the Wind. So Scarlet and Red, right? What are you showing me, baby? 
for the butterfly. This one's very pretty. Madison made that one. I'll show them in a second, baby. I'm trying to find different elements. I should have had a bingo chip on these. Mm. Here, here's one with a bingo chip. Mm -hmm. See? Bingo chip. Glossy accents. Um, this one's got a button. A different button. The other one was a gear. This one has... Oh, is it a button? No, it's an embellishment. Mm -mm. It's a sticker. Embellishment. Mm -hmm. So there's that. All right. Hopefully you guys are getting plenty of ideas, right? So later on, you don't go, oh, no, what do I use? You can see that it, oh, here's some German scrap. The Santa. Oops, sorry, out of frame. Mm -hmm. Hunky Dory and all the 3D dimensionals are great for these two. And this one's got some um, gloss on the back gloss. for texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or cheesecloth, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Hand-drawn Marilyn. Uh, this one's got some leaves. So this one's kind of neat. It's sealed, right? Uh, inside, who gave me this one? Uh, this is from Missouri in 2015 by Tina Wilson. So what they did was they took some leaves Wrong and side. then I guess they ran them through, um, oh no, they taped them. So there's an idea, probably a little bit neater, but you know, pretty cool concept to be able to use some of your stuff and encase it in plastic or run it through a laminator, right? Madison drew this one. Oh, this was Madison's mm -hmm. in 2015. And this is fabric. This right here, that doggy is fabric. And then she, I guess, hand drew a little <laughs> doggy and stuck him on there. So cute. So yeah, does that make sense, guys? Do you Are you guys feeling inspired now? If you have some more ideas, I'll continue to flip through and uh, I'm going to go through some more stuff. But you guys ask away if you have questions. I'm sure um, I'm going to see these. Oh, look at this one. These are images. These are my images. Look how cool that is. See? Nice and textured. It's dried flowers. Oh, we sell dried flowers. That's Don't such a good idea. You... I'm going to show them all. Yeah, honey. Here's a metal. Uh, piece and it's got a metal charm look at this one talk about embossing Ooh, that's gorgeous mm -hmm. embossed foil yes please right okay so speaking of that oh feathers don't forget your feathers mm -hmm. look feathers yep right and don't forget your die cuts for those of you who love die cutting here's a cool one a bunch of little die cut flowers and then simply layer come on simply layer them on right and stick them on there very cool so again super simple use whatever all the stuff that you have been hiding and having or little bits of paper and you don't want to part with make some look at that i love lucy one that's fun bingo chip right super fun and dimensional dots okay i'm trying to think if there's anything that we've missed so of course you guys know that you can use your stamps right so um if you have stamps that have smaller uh images they're great uh like even these again using my little cheat viewfinder where'd it go well, I buried it. It's gone. It went bye-bye. But let's use one of these. So, for example, this owl would fit perfectly. So any of these images would fit great on a on an ATC. So, And those are super fun. Look. How fun is that? You could also use something like this. This one almost looks perfect for an ATC. You see the size of that? And then all those really pretty elements as well would work. Don't forget your embossing, I'm sorry, your um, masks and your stencils because they work beautiful with stuff like this. Again, the trick is try and find stuff that's got smaller um, holes, right? Smaller elements. Because if you have some bigger ones, well, you know, that's not going to work very well on an ATC, right? But any of these would look amazing either with texture paste uh, stencil butters, um, sprays, 
any of that. So Here, stencils, my, definitely, as well see, as stamps. You want to see my sailor card? You have a sailor? Yeah, let me see your sailor. It's been a while since. Oh, that's cool, Madison. Oh, let your dreams set sail. Look at him. He's all manly man. <laughs> I love it. Cool, Madison. Oh, and that's washi, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's washi. Cool. Um, okay, for the backs, we talked about the fact that the backs have to have your information on them. So what does it need? It needs so to have is, your is name. Oh, no, I don't think so. This is like super old. I probably had this. There might be one in the store. I'll take a look. Um, there might be a straggler. But this, ooh, we sold this like maybe four years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, for the back, you need some information. You need to have your name. You need to have the Thank title, you. right? If it is for a swap, meaning, hang on, this is not in there, right? Jeez, Maddie. There we go. If there is a theme, so for example, let's say we decided to do ATCs every month. And every month we have a different theme. We would say this month is, I don't know, Christmas uh, or I uh, yeah Christmas trees. Then you would actually put the title, right? You would put um, you know, what do you want to call it? Like maybe this guy is Popeye. I don't know. <laughs> he would put Popeye, the date, the number. I'll explain that in a second. Your name. And if it is for a specific trade, you can say for fall, you know, or uh, red, white, and blue, or star spangled banner, you know, whatever we name the trade for that month, right? But the number is because sometimes you do series. So remember, I told you, most of the time, artist trading cards are one and done, meaning they are original individual pieces of art, okay? However, sometimes they're a part of an addition. So you could say one out of nine. For example, let's go, oh, I know which one, Madison, can I have the box? Please, the whole box. Thank you, honey. Um, mana, mana, mana. Oh, speaking of German scrap, see? How cool. Love German scrap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you have Harry Potter in here. Oh, I want to show them this one too. That's another cool idea. Hold, please. Oh, Madison, I had him on top. Oh, this one's glow in the dark, guys. I forgot about this one. This one glows in the dark. This is glow in the dark. Uh, so when you, yeah, so when you, oh, you guys can't see it, but anyway, oh, it glows in the dark. Madison, where are the coffee ones that we just did? This, this right here. Hang on, guys. This one also glows in the dark. Come on. Where are they? You have a lot of cars. Oh, we just had them on top, Madison. You mixed them all up. They're Hang too. tight. Here. Do you guys remember? Oh, there's another one I want to take out and show you. One second. I just saw it and remembered. Whoa. There's a lot of cards in here. That one might be a good one to show. That one might be a good one to show. These. I just posted these like, what was it? A few weeks back? Show them in your car if you want. Here. Here we go. Well, that's this is not all of them, but it's some of them. Do you remember these that I used a 3D um, 3D pushouts? So, so although they are all original, it's a series, right? Mm -hmm. Because they were all done <laughs> from the <laughs> same. Thank you, baby. They were all done from that same page. I used only one page and they're all done in the same concept, the same idea. They pretty much kind of look the same. You see the concept. You've got the little fishtail banner with the little clip. Uh, the lace is on all of them. Lace, same lace, lace, lace. So this is a series, basically. Lace, they all have the same lace. They all have pretty much the same little scraps of paper in the back and just different images, right? So this would be a series. I would say that this, I would, if I 
label this one, I would say this is one of nine, two of nine, three of nine, four of nine, five of nine, six of nine. Does that make sense then when it comes to the series? So when you see this on the back of the stamp where it tells you, um, you know, number of series, that's what it is that you're looking for. That's what that means. I want to show you these right here because I just remembered. Um, something else I wanted to share with you. Do not, do not overlook your books, your storybooks. This is an image from a storybook, right? This is actually several pages from a storybook. So the background was part of the page. The bush was part of the page and all I did was layer it. And then the boy was part of the page. So I basically took a kid's book cut it up, and then created an ATC. So, yes, exactly, Lisa, one of six and so on, exactly. So don't overlook your books either. If you have, like, books that you want to recycle, they are great for harvesting images as well, okay? Wanted to show you that. Wanted to also show you this one. So this one is done with um, gel pens. So again, you know, Every stripe was colored individually with a gel pen. And that was just a fun way to give that zebra <laughs> some funk. <laughs> so another thing you can use, your gel pens. Wanted to show you this one because I almost forgot. Dyes. You can use dyes. We have great dyes. This is a, a dye. And it actually makes this piece here in the back. And all that I did was I put another piece here on the inside to decorate it. And then, of course, you could put whatever sentiment you want here. I didn't get that far. This is as far as I got. <laughs> so I did the front and I distressed it and all that, but I still don't know what I'm doing. Maybe just a word or maybe it's left blank for the recipient to, you know, write whatever they want. Like mom and then maybe a poem about their mom. I don't know. So dies are great. That's one of them. And, and we have several, but this is another great one for that, too. This is a gift card die, right? So this is meant to do things like this, where you put the gift card on the bottom, right? And then you decorate the other flap and it closes, right? Super stinking cute, right? Because it's got the stitched edge and all that. Oh, you know what? These are great for ATCs. I mean, look at that, right? They'll fit right in there or you can even tuck them here and then have this close like this one and create some really cool ATC um, pockets that way too, or even a way to send it to whomever you're swapping with. All right, does that make sense, guys? Any questions so far? I'm trying to think of what else we have not covered. We're gonna talk about the challenge in a second, but I wanted to give you plenty, plenty of inspiration, um, you know, for you guys to, to kind of look around your room and man, just pull out everything. Look, Rick Rack, you know? And that, what's that tape called that you painters use? Like the Painting drywall, tape. the drywall mesh, whatever. Mm. Uh, your postage stamps, recycled postage stamps. How cool are they, right, for using? Mm -hmm. um, dies and punches, Lisa says. Yes, dies and punches. Absolutely. Here's a die. Speaking of which, you know, here's a die right there. No, and learn today that playing cards come in more than one size. One well, says. the 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 official playing cards are always two and a half by three and a half. But oh man, yeah, they. I have playing cards that are this big. <laughs> I've sewing. seen even bigger. This is sewing. Sewing, stitching would be amazing. Now here's what I would recommend. If you notice something, anytime I work uh, an ATC, we work it first without nothing in the back because anything that I need to hide when I back it up that's where I'm going to hide it. And that's where I'm going to write all my information, right? Not on this mm -hmm. ugliness, especially if it's something that we've sprayed or see, like, look at this one, Madison. Oh, look how cool this one is. Madison made us a dragon one. Well, she threw the washi on the back and look how ugly. First of all, it's super flimsy. Second of all, it's all gluey and ugly. And you know, it's got washi mm -hmm. hanging out of it. Once she puts the back plate to this, then it'll sturdy it up and it will be clean. So Again, same thing with this. I mean, who wants to receive that? Not me, right? But look at the front. So pretty. 
Now the yes. back needs to be clean. Bonnie says, I found some that are smaller. Oh, yeah. Well, I have little bitty ones like that. Oh, I've had even smaller like that. Big. <laughs> so, yes, they do. But the official playing cards, here's the good news, are always um, two and a half by three and a half. Okay. So we've got lots of inspiration. You guys have seen um, what we can do. And then we're going to start this month with um, the swap. So let me tell you about this month's swap. I'm trying to see if there's anything that we missed that would be... I mean, just about if you have it, you can use it, guys. Stickers, metal, uh, fabric, trim, die cuts, uh, you know, you name it. Uh, we even talked about um, books, right? Look at this one. Here's a really cool concept. If you have something that is a little bit bigger and you're like, well, I wanted to use that rub on, for example, but it's a continuous one, you can do two, right? Look at that and just make it a two set. So when you swap, you can swap two or you can even put these together, right? Like in a little book and that would be so cool. It opens up this way. So again, get creative, get creative with what you've got. Exactly, Lisa, exactly. I mean, the sky is the limit. Anything you can use, you can use it. Oh, look at this. You know, those ornaments are so cool. And we could use it like this. Oh, if I can get it out. Look at that. How pretty, right? There. So, okay. Now, any questions about ATCs? Any questions about materials? Any questions about anything at all before I move on to the actual swap itself? How clever. Paper clips for skates. Seriously? And look, they're laced up. Who made this one? Oh, Jania. Cool. Yes. Actually, it's funny. We met at an ATC swap and this is since 15 and we're still friends. <laughs> Not funny. Sometimes you make the most amazing friends, you know, at these swaps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me put some My of these aside. Collecting ears, many different sizes from all over the world. I wonder if she would let me borrow some. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. We were talking about embossing folders. I almost forgot. Embossing folders are an amazing tool to have in your on your in your arsenal, excuse me, when you're making ATCs. Again, they add great depth and something, you know, extra to your cards while still being able to work in that limited um, amount of space, right? Okay. Donnie says my mom. Oh, yeah. From around the world. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, you could get some really cool stuff from all around the world for sure. Okay, so ATC's everywhere now. Um, let's talk about the swap, or not the swap, the event, excuse me, because it is not a swap. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen it already, is there anybody who has not seen the event in the Facebook group? Because we can briefly touch up on that in case you guys have questions. First of all, if you go to the Facebook group at the very top, you're going to see that it is there. If you're on a computer, unfortunately, they remove this, but you do have your tabs at the top and one of them is featured. So you want to go to the featured tab, click on that. Mm, is that it? Yes, this is the event. Okay, so let's read it together. It says ATC challenge. Create an ATC using at least two embellishment items purchased from Spectrum Art Creations. This can be papers, magicals, stickers, trims, laces, Sprays. brads, charms, metal pieces, stamps, metal dies, bingo chips, ephemera. I mean, we just covered a laundry list, right? Metal, you name it. You name it, we've sold it, and you can use it, right? Your wife says, your wife says. It doesn't, no, it does not include mediums such as um, adhesives, you know, you cannot count sex glue, you cannot count, you know, um, your art glitter glue, you cannot count your ink pads and stuff like that. That's pretty generic. The challenge is to use something to embellish there. That's the word you want to think of. Rice paper. It could be, it could be um, German scrap, right? So you have plenty of stuff that you could use. Um 
Now, you decorate your cards any which way you like. I did not give you a theme because maybe you don't want to do Christmas, right? You can do any season, any occasion. Look at the table. I mean, from Harry Potter to, I don't know, dragons to, I don't know, vintage Mary Poppins. I don't know what that is. Star Wars? Why not? Whatever you'd like. Coffee? Whatever theme you like, you can go ahead and use. Um... So it's your total, it's total artist choice. You have complete creative freedom. Now you can choose whether you swap or not. So although we're going to call it an ATC and we've discussed that stands for artist trading cards, that doesn't mean you need to trade it at all. If you just want to participate and create ATCs and post them so that we can all admire the beauties that you've made and just because you want to get in there and, you know, try it or maybe it's your first time, do it. If, however, you do want to trade, you can also do that. That's an option. So um, so you can choose to swap or not to. You can post your creations just to share and enter the giveaway. That just does. Now, you can also post your cards and swap them with other participants. Now, when you post, just let folks know if you're open to swapping or not. You can say, I'm keeping all of these or mine. <laughs> or you can say, I am open to swapping. Even if you say you're open to swapping, that doesn't mean you have to. Please do not feel. Um, one of the reasons why a lot of times um, mm -hmm. swaps fail, I'll be honest with you, is because people feel like they are, uh, they have to trade. You do not. Okay. And you're not going to hurt anyone's feelings. Maybe they don't have what you're looking for. Maybe it's not your thing. You know, if I posted, um, I did a six dragon cards. And I want to swap with you because I love your Mary yes, Poppins. Angel, she's just catching up. Can't wait to watch. Hey, this. Angel. Um, you love Mary Poppins, you know. But, you know, honestly, I mean, I love your Mary Poppins. But you're like, oh, I don't mm -hmm. like dragons. I don't collect dragons. I don't want dragons. I'm not interested in dragons. I would never use a dragon on anything. You can politely say, I, you know, at this point in time, I don't see anything that I'd like. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. That's it. Just be polite about it and move on, right? So don't feel like just because somebody says, I want to swap with you, you have to. You don't mm -hmm. have to. Do not feel pressured to swap. If you wish to pass, simply let them know nicely that you are pass at that time, right? You can enter as many times as you like, but you could have to use a different pose for each card because it gets really hard on me, guys, to sometimes people post like fronts and backs and insides. It gets really confusing. So this would be one picture one entry, one picture, one entry, one picture, one entry, one picture, one entry, one picture, one entry. Got it? So if these are my ETCs. This is what I'm going to do. Each of these is going to have a picture, whether I'm swapping it or not, and the hashtag. Same, 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 same. As many times as you like, okay? All right. So you can also post your projects on YouTube. You know, you can even make videos, you can do Instagram, whatever it is, but you have to let me know. You have to share the link because otherwise there's, you know, I can't go out there and be looking every day, you know, all kinds of all over the place. It just gets really hectic, but I do want to count them. So just make sure you post a link um, if you've done that. And then of course, don't forget, you have to use the hashtag SACSATCs2023. The deadline is going to be December. So you have all of this month and the full month next month. Um, and then the price is to be announced, maybe a gift card. I haven't decided yet, but it's always something fun and good, right? So that's it. If you just get one in, that's all you get in. If you want to make 20, go nuts, right? And you guys have total control. So does that make any sense? Do you guys have any questions on that whatsoever? You're in full control of what you make, how many you make, whether you want to keep them, if you want to trade them, you know. You were born on December 31st, Nettie? Get out. <laughs> you really? Oh, my gosh. You're like one in a what? I don't know how many. Everyone always wants a New Year baby. And it just depends on, oh, my gosh, by a couple of hours, you could have gone this way or that way. That's crazy. Okay, any questions? If we do a series, should we post each one separately? Yes. If No, no, wait, Rochelle, 
whatever you'd like. If you do it as a series, right? And you post it like so. No, 30 minutes, midnight. <gasps> what? That is hysterical. Let's say this is my series, right? If I take one picture and I post it, then that's just one entry. That's it. Like I said, it's one hashtag and one picture equals an entry. If I do picture, hashtag, picture, hashtag, picture, hashtag, then I get five entries. So it's up to you how much work you want to put into it. <laughs> you know, um, that's number one. Number two, if you are going to swap, make sure you label them, right? So one of five, five, yeah. Two of five, three of five, four of five, five of five, because I might fall in love with this one and I might be like, oh, Rochelle, I love to trade with you. Um, would you be willing to trade, you know, number two, please take a look at my stuff, right, that I posted. Let's say these are the ones I posted. Please take a look at the ones I posted and see if there's anything you, you know, you'd like. Now, if you look at my stuff and you're like, nope, I am not interested in any of that, Maddie, but thank you. You can say, oh, at this time, I'm going to choose to pass, but thank you. That's it. No one's feelings are going to get hurt. You don't even have to explain that you do not like my colors, my style. No, you just say, no, thank you. I'm going to pass. However, if you do like one of them, then you can choose to say, oh, yeah, I want that circus one because I'm working on a circus theme thing. Sure. And so, yeah, and I want that one. Okay, then you let me know. Yeah, you can, when you guys decide to swap with each other, Angel, great question. You can choose whether you want to post your address public, not public, it's a closed group, but it's still the World Wide Web, right? Kind of like what we're doing with the Christmas card swap. In the Christmas card swap, I let you guys know, if you feel comfortable posting your address, post it. If you do not, so all you have to other. do is PM each other, right? So if I'm swapping with you and I say, yes, Angel, I will take your... Um, cupcake for, you know, and you want my Spider-Man, we're going to trade. Here's my address and I can PM you. And again, you do not have to feel, please okay, Kateri, do I'm not. Here talking to my parents watching you. Okay, Kateri. I hope everything is okay. I got some good updates. Um, if, if, um, if you're swapping, please do not feel just like the Christmas cards obligated that you have to send extras. The swap is for an ATC. So all you need is a postage stamp, or maybe you want three of mine. I don't know. I'll swap three of mine for three of yours. Um, and if you feel, you know, that you want to send extras, by all means, send something, but please do not expect anything in return because that is not what the concept nice. is. Okay. Okay. So how do you PM someone? Oh, on Facebook. Um, so let's say, let me go into the ATC swap again. So for example, let's say auntie right here or Kateri, let's pick on Kateri. Kateri said, you know, let's say that this is her pictures. Now, all I have to do is click on Kateri herself message and then her. message. And then I can message her and say, Hey, you know, here's my address, blah, blah, blah. Give me yours. That's it. You exchange addresses in the event. You can, okay. if you feel comfortable, by all means, post it right on with your picture. Say, I can, from go, say, um, hi, these are my ATC cards. You want some? Uh, I am open to trade. My address is P.O. Box. Go. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yes, you can do that from go. If you feel comfortable doing that, you can do that. Um, personal messages, if you'd like. Oh, yeah, you just click right on the person and it goes right into into uh, messages. Okay, any other questions, guys? Anything I haven't shown you? As long as you don't make jokes about living on it's, it's an easy street. Uh, are you <laughs> funny? Speaking of playing cards, look, see, I told you some playing cards just are so pretty. This was, I guess, an Oriental card. Japanese. And yeah, shows. and we did some little Japanese butterfly and, you know, little cutesy doll. So that's very funny, Michelle. Totally 80s, dude. <laughs> I love the pink converse. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, look at Snow White with a poison apple. Ooh. Poison apple. Her oh. poison apple. Yeah. Oh, here's another. See, this was part of that circus one. So that was that I could do as a series. I don't know where it went. And that's another thing. When you have a pack of ephemera or a pack of stickers, you know, let me go grab some stickers. Hang on. I'll show you. Whatever. Oh, baby, can you close that? Please? What? That. The blind? The blind? Oh, I gotta tell okay. you guys something fun. Yes, please. Sure. I just grabbed the first sticker pack I found. Here we go. Look. So this is a sticker pack. Uh, skiing. Okay. So if I decided to use, you know, these stickers, I can make this into a series, right? One, two, three, four, five, you know, kind of thing. And I can just make a sticker pack into a series. The same thing with a pack of ephemera. So, um, I know what I was going to tell you guys. Okay. We're done with that. Oh, here, here's another one from that. Remember that storybook I showed you earlier? This one. And I said, Remember, you have books. You can cut them up. Here's another one. The background is one piece, and then I put him on a swing, and I popped him up. So he's swinging. And this is from a um, from the same storybook. Um, if we're done with the ATCs, I've got some updates for you guys. I got to tell you a secret about tomorrow. Tomorrow. How many of you have seen the... Um, oh, here's another one we did with the... Gel pens. How many of you notice something different about tomorrow's ad? Hmm? 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 Owls. <laughs> Did anyone see the, um, oh, look, Dr. Who. Who was asking about Dr. Who? I must have found a bunch um, of images. Rochelle and Nanny, I'm feeling fine as, um, before... Last from last Saturday, we did fine. Did all the thumbs, nail, ten and under. That's right. Tomorrow's sale is all ten and under, guys. Yep, angel ten and under. $10 That's and right, under. ten and under. Now, do you guys know why? Here's more of the circus. You know why? We all know the expression. Um, while the cat's away, the mice will play. Right. Look at your horsey. When he says she likes me, Tinkerbell. loves Dr. Who. Yeah, I know. I must have found some images because I have quite a few of them. Recycled cereal boxes. Mm -hmm. See? Just let me tell you. Oh, no. I usually send a little something with my happy mail. Do not feel obligated. Right, exactly. You do you. And then, you know, all I yeah, ask yeah. is that nobody's feelings get hurt. Curious as many. What a mess you have. Oh, yeah, look at this. Ooh, -hoo. these are just the ones I haven't gotten around to put in the binder yet. Says, Girl says, oh, yeah. So, the cat's away, guys. Do you know what that means? The men are gone. So, you know what? We're going to have a girl's time. We are going to have all girls tomorrow. It's going to be Katiri. Madison and I doing the sale. And so we've decided. Can you carry the paper for, for sorting ATCs. You're talking about the um the plastic? The plastic sleeves, Angel? Okay, I'm gonna put these back so I can focus. Because I'm gonna tell you guys some secrets now. <laughs> yes. Um, you, um, you correct? Yes, correct. Yes. No, but I can't carry them if you want. Um, you know, it's not a biggie. They they do have them pretty handy, like Walmart carries them. Everybody carries them because you know people collect all kinds of other cards too, like baseball cards and Pokemon cards. But if, if you guys want me to get you some, I certainly can. It's no biggie. Okay, so I'm going to fill you in on what's going to happen. Are you ready? Tomorrow, we are going to play because we are just been let loose with no supervision. And that is not a good thing when Madison has, Maddie has no supervision, right? Nope. It's going to be a mess. A, a mess. A whole lot of fun. That's what it's going to be. So 
tomorrow are we are going to do a 10 and under. It's all going to be in a 10 box. All amazing deals. Beautiful stuff that I've got ready for you guys. And mm -hmm. it's um, going to have new games. We're going to play a brand new game. So we hope that you guys will like it because it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I hope it is. It's brand new. So you're going to have to stay tuned and see what it is. I know food fight. It's like a pillow fight. It's like a girl's number slumber night. Yeah, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be great. Interesting. So new games all under 10, mm -hmm. etc. Now we are also going to not be invoicing or shipping this week. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have the Saturday sale, right? Tomorrow. Then on um, Wednesday, we might have a pre-Black Friday sale, something kind of pillow fight, I know, um, something maybe small. Then definitely Friday is going to be Black Friday sale, and it's going to be awesome. Then if we happen to run out of time, because I've pulled and I've pulled stuff for you guys, um, if we run out of time, then we'll also do a Saturday. So with that being said, because there's so many few days in between all those possibilities, I'm going to do all combined, one invoice, one shipping. So everything, everything from this Saturday until next Friday, possibly Saturday, is all going to get combined on one invoice with one shipping on Monday, the 27th, okay? So don't freak out on Monday if you're like, Where's my invoice? You don't have one. It's all going to get combined. We're just going to make it easy. So you have only one payment instead of like, oh, I got to pay on Monday. And then four days later, I got to make pay again. No, we're going to do one invoice, one shipping, all combined. Yes, Angel says yes to the, I guess, to the. Platform. I have no idea, Angel. We might start at 10 a.m. I have no clue. <laughs> I really do not. I've been pulling and pulling stuff and I just kind of keep pulling and everyone's probably thinking what on earth but yeah I I just want to I want to have a big blast just like tomorrow I want to have a lot of fun so the next I'm just in that party celebratory mode <laughs> it's so it's starting now I want us to to just have a whole lot of fun and some great deals okay Angel, no problem we're traveling Friday oh are you oh no well hopefully you can tune in um Wendy says, I never see the package. Um, just email me, Wendy. There's the email right there. She's He's like, not here, but you can email me and I'll take a look. Um, Because I think everything has gone out. So it's the giving season. That's right. Yes. I get into that. Oh, I just want to, yeah, just have fun, have fun relax, uh, slash everything. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a whole lot of fun. Oh, and don't forget that also includes anything from the online and Etsy too. So take a look in those stores because anything you want to combine in there, it's just going to be that much easier. It's going to be a great way to, um, to save a lot of money on shipping as well. Okay. So what do we have going tomorrow? Well, so, now you guys know about the ATCs. You know what they are. You know, you know why we do them. You see how easy they are to do. Anything will do. Mm -hmm. Any you don't need anything special. You've got tons of stuff already uh, in your stash um, that you could use. Um, and then, of course, it's just a matter of sitting down with you know some music or a cool movie and something nice to to drink and some snacks and and just have fun you know grab your papers grab your stickers grab your embellishments and and just you know kind of think with a theme and if you want to do you know three or four that are the same or similar um then then do that and and get ready to post and swap so that's going to be a lot of fun you have lots of time but don't wait till the last minute of course um and if we like it, because I think you guys are going to love it, we can continue to do them monthly too. You know, um, after this, we'll talk about it. And if you guys are like, yeah, let's just go with a different theme every month and mm -hmm. we can swap, then we'll do that. Because that's fun, right? You can have album fulls of just amazing little, little artworks Creation. from, yeah, from all over, you know, and from all of your friends. You can have a whole collection. Um, and it's always nice too when you get... Um, that's why I like the swapping part. Um, I love everybody's take on something because my take on Alice in Wonderland, yours might be completely different because you might have different stamps, different stash, 
different color themes that you would do with Alice. You know, I, I would like me, I would love to have an Alice from everyone. <laughs> right. So, so yeah, I mean, it's always fun to see what other people do as well. Okay. So you guys know the game plan, right? Tomorrow sale, 10 or less, um, new game tomorrow, no shipping and no invoicing, uh, this week. Um, then on Sunday, we've got the magical class, um, techniques that's on Sunday. That one is a, it's a class that can run a little long. So make sure that you guys, um, make time on Sunday, hopefully. And then we're going to go ahead and now uh, just play all day. Feel free to jump in anytime you want, because we're going to cover several, well, quite a few different techniques uh, and just have some playtime. Have Rochelle a lot of fun. I don't have any else. <gasps> Rochelle, you need to have some. Cool. Um, so um, what else? So Sunday Magical, don't forget. Tuesday, I already have a video up for the Graphic 45 tag album. Remember? I showed it on last Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I'm thinking, even though I have a video, I want to do it live with you guys. I really do want to do a craft along because I've missed you guys so, so very much. So I think that we need to hang out. What do you guys think? Uh, so maybe on Tuesday, if you can, you know, attend. Great. It's just a bonus. Um, we will do a the tag book on Tuesday. And then we'll go right into our sales. And then that'll wrap up pretty much this month, guys. Except for the VIP um, craft along night. Don't forget that. That's coming up too. Uh, Rochelle says, I hope my, my craft room is back together by Sunday so I can... Play. I hope so too. I'm going to get you guys um, the supply list because... Okay, the one for Sunday is going to require quite a bit of stuff, guys. We're going to do at least probably eight or ten different techniques, okay? Again, you can jump in halfway in. You could choose to do these but not those. You could just sit there and watch the other ones, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to give you a supply list for Sunday. That one's going to be a little bit heavy on the supplies. Um, we're just going to be doing a lot of techniques, and therefore you need a lot of tools, right, or a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The one for Tuesday, though, is super simple. So, oh, there you go. Rochelle just asked a question. What do you need for the tag on Tuesday? Um, so you should have had your 12 by 12. Um, let me go get it. Hang on. Because it's not going to come to me. Oh, Angel. No, you can play along. You have magicals. And again, you don't have to do every technique, you know? You could just do some. Where'd you go? Mm -hmm. I don't either. Excuse me, honey. Excuse yep. me, honey. Angel says so many magicals. Huh? He's got a lot of magicals. There you go. Can do it. So, what do you need for Tuesday? And again, I'm gonna have a supply list. Just give me a little bit to catch up, right? I've been working it. You need your well. This is optional. The backgrounds are optional because you can use these papers fully. So, you need your 12 by 12. Life is abundant, right? You need. Your ephemera pack, you could have, you have both, great. You need trim if you have the uh, photogenic black from Graphic 45, awesome. If you don't have that, then um, you want to get at least three different trims. You need your wide eyelets and you need your Spectrum Art Creations corner precision tool. Okay, that's it. And glue, of course. Well, we always need glue. What else do we need other than I glue? I don't have any of that, Rochelle says. You didn't get this, Rochelle? Oh, why? Oh, my gosh. No. Okay, did you buy... Did you get Imagine? I guess... Well, what other Graphic 45 collections do you have? 
Um, Can you use Hortensia? Mm, mm. We're going to need the stickers and stuff because this comes with the stickers. I don't think so, Rochelle says. Do you have any graphic 45 of the um, deluxe collections, the one with the stickers that you hopefully have ephemera with as well? Because I'll show you. I mean, you could use other lines, but no, you are going to need. No. You don't have any graphic 45. How can that be? Where have we gone wrong, Rochelle? Come on. This one I did using wild and free. Okay. So this one's done using wild and free. And then this one, which I haven't finished decorating, I use um, woodland, woodland friends, woodland friends. Woodland friends, friends. Yeah. This I one. Used my favorite, uh, wait, this is <gasps> you used it all up. Oh no. And this one is wood. wood I haven't finished decorating it. This one is woodland um friends. So you can use um other Papers. paper lines. I mean you won't be able to follow exactly what I'm doing, but you'll be able to at least get the dimensions and then you just use whatever other paper line you have, but you have to have the ephemera with it and you have to have the stickers with it and you definitely need the trim, the eyelids are needed and mm -hmm. what else is needed and your corner precision tool. Can, can these? Uh, can use, I'm um, trying to think. I can't think of any other line that has stickers. Oh, I know. Let it be. Let it be has stickers. Yes, honey, but she doesn't have graphic. Oh, you have stickers with. I was trying to think of who has stickers. Yeah, I mean, well, you know what? Just improvise. I mean, you know, I'm sure you can. Mm -hmm. You can uh, come up with something. So this is for Tuesday. That's it. Uh, your eyelid setter, of course, for the eyelids. Your glue. Um, your tool. Tool. Yeah, that's it. Scissors. So okay, very so. basic. Like I said, Tuesday's very basic. Um, Sunday is going to require some more. Now you gather up as much as you can. If you are missing anything for Sunday, like I said, it's okay. It's okay. You just watch the technique and you can learn from it. And then actually, even while we're doing those, you could be, you know, drawing some stuff or you could be making additional ones of the, the last technique. So if we're on technique number seven mm -hmm. and you don't have those supplies, you know, just make more of number six because, you know, maybe that's what you'd like to do. But you're going to walk away. Speaking of beautiful ATC backgrounds and stuff that you could use, you're going to walk with a whole lot of um, really pretty papers that you could use for making ATCs or tags or inserting in your journals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did I miss anything? Was there anything else mm -hmm. out there, guys? Any questions? Let me know you're still here. Let me know you're alive. Let me know if you have questions, if um, you had any suggestions or anything that I might have missed. Lisa is going to help me with posting um, a list on the Facebook group for some suggestions and ideas as to all the stuff that you can use. I sent a list in Messenger. Buddy. Oh, thank you, Lisa. See, man, you're hired. She's awesome. Um all the um ideas because sometimes you know that's one of the things we get stuck and we're like oh i don't nice. know what to use yes, it, is. It, was so nice seeing everyone tonight, it was nice and we're gonna see you again tomorrow we get to hang out actually all weekend we hung out tonight we hang out tomorrow and then we hang out on sunday we take a little break on monday and then we're back on tuesday <laughs> So when he says, I think you covered all my questions. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Again, anyone watching this and playing it back, um, if you have questions about the classes, about the academy, about ATCs, anything, any supplies, just feel free to leave them down in the comments and I will be checking comments. Um, but other than that, I'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be on the lookout. Might be might jump in and do some early, early birds or something maybe. crazy again hey they're not here so i get to do whatever i want i need someone to cover i need someone to come over here and help me sort and organize my craft room oh i would love to do that my oh my craft. gosh 
Craft Sunburst. Ooh, Craft beautiful room. line. Yeah. I would love to do that, Angel. I wish, I wish that, I like, time. that would be, I think it would be almost a dream come true it for would. me to be able to go around and just help folks organize. And, yeah, that would be so cool. Oh, if only I was watching that movie. It's called Blended. Have you guys ever seen that movie with um Adam Sandler and um Drew Barrymore? It's called Blended. It's about um it's almost like the Brady Bunch where they have they both are they both have kids and you know I guess it's a blended family. But um I was I was watching that and in that movie mm -hmm. Drew Barrymore and her best friend, their job is they're closet organizers and their company is they go, I guess, to people's homes and they organize your closet. Man, wouldn't that be awesome? Like to have for a job, but to do a craft room organizing, you know, just to sit there, sort out all the paper, put it all together, um, you know, do all the stickers. Somehow I can't organize everyone's but myself. Well, that's 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 kind of the way that goes, to be honest with you, <laughs> because uh, I was the same way when it came to like cleaning. I would love to go into my friends' homes and clean or mm -hmm. wash their dishes or help them, you know, mm -hmm. put their clothing away in the closet. Like I love doing that. But when it came to mine, I was like, eh. I mean, I did it because I'm OCD, but I wasn't thrilled about it. <laughs> Rochelle says, I wish it too, but my part of my craft, craft room is in my living room. Oh, that's how we started. The dining room became our craft room. Actually, first it was Madison's school um, yes. desk, which was like this big, like maybe 20 by 18. That was it. Then finally, we just kept adding okay. stuff and we took over the dining room. And then, yeah, and we just kind of been slowly graduating. <laughs> Until Michelle, since anyone lives in Central Texas and wants to organize my craft stuff, someday, someday I'm gonna have one of those closets, dream craft rooms. Have you seen those on um on Pinterest and whatnot? Oh my God! All those counters and custom cabinets and wow, someday. But you know what? We're blessed because we have so much and. We enjoy it, and that's what matters. It doesn't matter where you craft. If you craft on a TV tray, then that's what you're crafting, wow. and that makes you yeah, happy. So my dress room is a craft room. That's cool. I did give you guys a tour, Rochelle. You haven't seen the video? It's in the it's in the Facebook group. What is it under? Who knows? Anybody? I think it just says craft room tour. Hang on. Studio tour, I think it was. Maybe. Where am I? I need to go to my channel. Link. Rochelle's link. Yeah, let me find it. Let me see if I can. You know what? Let me do it on the PC. Oh, it can get you a link. Let me log. Jonathan McKee has my dream room. McGuire. I don't know who that is, but does she? Oh, my gosh. I can only imagine. I see some of those rooms, and I'm like, oh, but I need I need to win the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't even know how much would that room, rooms like that cost. I mean, just custom cabinetry and counters and, oh my gosh, I want to have like um, lights everywhere, first of all. I just want to have lights everywhere. Second of all, I want to have a big old window in front of where I craft and then I want um, plugs everywhere, just plugs. Rochelle says, I'm not a big Facebook person. Usually someone has to tell me to go look. Well... You got to at least keep track of the group. Log in at least once a day to the group. And check it out. And check out what's happening. Because there's also hidden giveaways too, Rochelle. You know that. All right, here we go. I think this is it. Somebody tell me if this works. Does it work? Craft room oh, tour. Oh, Jennifer McGuire has been destroys Glad's presence seal, whatever that means. Develop Glad, glad press. What? Well, no wonder. Yeah, they got money. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to have money. Wow. Bye, Lori. Good night, Lisa Lori. Dad, your son is making dinner. Ooh, yum. Enjoy. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, check it out. We might start earlier, but definitely for by four. 
Does the link work for anyone? I'm trying, LOL. That's why. Ah, there you go, Rochelle. Yes. Just every day, once a day, just go in there, check it out. You know, just spend five, 10 minutes um, and then just, you know, see what everyone's posting, what's cooking. Yeah. Yes, yes it worked. Okay, cool. So now you have the link for the um, tour. for the tour and you can get an idea as to my, uh, yeah, my organized mess. It is organized. And, you know, honestly, like I tell people, my room is probably not as picture perfect as, you know, like people who have really cool stuff, but um, it's a working room. I mean, out of this, out of this, you know, we, in this room, we homeschool, we spend 90% of our day. We homeschool, we, um, we run the business, obviously, as I'm live now and talking to you guys, I work from this desk and that emails, all that stuff, right? It's the same desk. Uh, we do the sales every Saturday. Um, so I mean, and I craft. So literally, this space is like, you know, it's the workhorse in this house. It this is where you know everything happens. So yes, Angel says it would be hard to resist shop, shopping in the the stock. I think it is torturous. Is the word Angel because you know? And I think sometimes people don't realize. I was listening to um to Dina and Wakely, and she was saying how some people tell her, oh, well, you know, you're lucky because you just, you know, you get all the supplies. And Dina's like, uh, I have to buy my stuff. <laughs> and I think that people don't realize that, that, you know, no matter what, mm -hmm. you still have to buy this stuff. You have to pay for it. Um, so I wish I could have one of everything, but just like you guys, I got to rein it in and, wow. and, and realize I can't have everything. Even, I want everything, but Donnie, I can't have it. So Donnie's there on her master bedroom. <laughs> I have a condo, so I have limited space. So half of my mass room is a crafting area. That's right. Hey, whatever, whatever works. Listen, of course, we all want our dream, mm -hmm. you know, she shed or dream studio. Of course, who doesn't? But the thing is this, all you need is a place where you can sit down, create, you know, unplug just enjoy your time, your time for you. So what it looks like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't or how big it is. So, yeah. This is a view. We just got, got a guy here in Little Peru. Indy, where five, five thousand dollars for a lottery ticket. <gasps> with him. No, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Five hundred thousand. That's half a mil. Oh my gosh! It is very hard, though, um, Angel, to to not want. I mean, I do want one of everything. Hi, Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Um, late. it's okay. You can play it back, Barbara. We kind of wrapped up all the ATCs, but if you have any questions about anything, Let ask. Because you know. we're just chatting now. Honestly, we're just sitting here gabbing. But um, it, it is very difficult to have the temptation. And when the new stuff comes in, you guys have to see me. I'm like a kid <laughs> Christmas. I'm like, like Ooh, store. uh, yeah. I'm like a kid in the candy store. I, I just, I see the stuff and I'm like, Oh my God. Like I want all of that, but I have to pick and choose, you know, like, do I get all of this line or all of this line or, you know? Mm. Yeah. But just as I have a card table, card table, I couldn't imagine what would you do with a half a million dollars? Um, I mean, other than the obvious, right? Like, okay, pretend if I told you, you have half a million dollars, I'm going to give you, you cannot use it for the obvious answer, which is like to pay off your house, to pay off your car. You know, your it's just for you. It is for an indulgence mm -hmm. for you. You cannot say I'm going to gift it to somebody. I'm going to give it to my child. No, no, it's for you. That's the only condition that I have. What would you do? with half a million dollars. I want to hear it. Travel the world. Wendy I'm says. hoping to go home in the next couple of years. Cool. Travel. Oh, look at my travelers. Really? Travel the world. Move. You on the other Lisa side of the island and my family. Oh, yeah. That's hard. Travel. You would move. Okay. So, 
Wendy, I want to hear your top three picks. Where where are we traveling? Barbara, the same thing. Give me the top three countries you're going to visit. Lisa, where would you move to? Where are you moving to? I'm giving you half a million dollars. Where are you going? Ooh, interest of the buy long gold and silver. I can't have any indulgence until I have a roof to put it under. I a warehouse to live, sell, and craft in. That would be cool, like a warehouse building where wow. you could also live, like residential, have like an apartment maybe above it or a section. That would be cool, Wendy. Hey, that's an indulgence. It's not technically. You know, you're not paying off a mortgage. It's it's your indulgence. Ooh. It's your craft room. Well, I like it. I like to buy gold and silver. Really, Angel? That's what you would do with half a million. Now, what are you gonna just? You just want to have it for what retirement or pay everything off? No, Rochelle, you can't. See, that's the condition. You cannot pay bills off. It's for you and indulgence. Find you an island for five hundred thousand. Really I don't think so. I don't have a mortgage or a car loan. They are paid off. Okay, so tell me, where are you moving to? All right, so Wendy's going to Belize. Oh, I want to go to Belize so bad. Australia and Germany. Okay, cool, cool. England, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. Ooh, Barbara. Wow, interesting choices. Please. Like the New Zealand, I didn't see that coming, but it's right next to Australia, so that kind of works. Please just stay here. Just move to one story home. My house is not paid off. LOL. I know, but you can't. You can't pay the mortgage. Sorry, that's part of my condition for, for your half a mil. Okay, so you would still stay in the same town, or would you move to a different town? I mean, Indiana, I get it, if you want to stay in the state. But Peru. where, yeah, do you stay in Peru, or do you go to a, a different city? Ireland, okay, what is it with New Zealand, guys? Tell me what we're, I'm missing. New Zealand is not on my radar at mm -hmm. all for places to go to, so talk to me. Am I missing something? Yeah, Wendy, hey, you know what? That's okay. It happens. You have so many other things, right? Uh, <laughs> Wendy says, Barbara cheated. She snuck an extra one. Keep it for retirement. Okay. That's true. All right. Hey, if that's your indulgence, I guess, to Hi, Lindsay. have it for retirement. Okay, then I will go to Hawaii, Italy, and Japan. Ooh, okay. Those are three good ones. I want to go to Hawaii. I would love to go to Hawaii. Since I was a little girl, I've always, I love the Hawaiian language and I love um, to visit the island. Oh my gosh. Rochelle says, I can't fix my house. LOL. Italy, is, story. Italy is fabulous. And mm -hmm. Japan would be it amazing. Is. I agree. Same town. Wow. Okay. So just a one story, no more stairs. Just maybe, um, okay, going that way. Mm, that's cool. There you go. That's an indulgence. Now, what? What would your craft room look like? Is it a separate room, Lisa? Does it have, you know, or is it like a she shed? Like you just want to disconnect it from the house completely, uh, but obviously within walking distance. No, you can't fix up your house. Nope. Mm -mm. That's not an indulgence. It's for you, like literally to buy jewelry, uh, purses. cruise purses. Um, I don't know. Get Get a nose job. <laughs> Whatever you want, but it's got to be only for you. Lucy's here. Also build a log cabin on a mountaintop with a stream. Oh, my gosh, Angel, you're speaking my language. I die when I see those houses. Like, you know, but it's so difficult because, mm -hmm. you know, I guess it's not conducive for what we do. Like, I would love that. But because of Madison's medical appointments, you know, and all that stuff. I mean, you see the amount of traveling that we do as it is living in Tallahassee. I still have to travel and travel and travel. Um, so I, I don't think we would ever get away with that. No, never happened. But that would be a dream. I would travel to visit my son and family in Japan and Okinawa. That is so stinking awesome. That is so cool. I love to visit Japan. I okay. am... Japan speaks to me in a lot of ways because of how everyone is so respectful. Like I cannot, mm -hmm. I, I love the fact that like you cannot have, or nobody would even consider having loud music on an 
on a train. They're so respectful of each other that I'm like, wow, can can I just Angel says you need a, Angel says you need a helicopter for commuting. I know. I would. Half a million is not going to work, though. <laughs> need more. Um, it's where they film a lot of the Majestic movies. Right, exactly. Oh, in New Zealand? I don't think so. I thought that was Scotland. Really? Hmm. Hawaii is amazing. I would kill. I've always heard that Hawaii is just absolutely beautiful. I haven't heard. The only thing I've heard that is a negative thing about Hawaii, the only mm -hmm. thing is it's expensive. But that's not a negative mm -hmm. thing about the people, the island, the food, the culture, nothing. It's just that it's expensive, you know. Mm -hmm. But, oh, my goodness, would I love that. Pangea, really? New Zealand? I'm glad that it's cheap when I get there. LOL, no hotel bills. That's right. My dad was at Pearl Harbor and would never take my mom there. Oh, really? Shopping in Paris. Go, Wendy. <laughs> Who's got bulldogs? I guess Lindsay's. Lindsay. Hi, everyone. Hey, Lindsay. I would travel and buy a quality, healthy female English bulldog and start breeding a business. Are those the ones with the flat face? Are they the ones that have a really hard time breathing? I heard that and I felt so bad. Somebody was telling me about a doggy that has a really flat face and they can't breathe. And I was like, oh, poor babies. Oh, I cannot imagine. Yeah. The memorial's got to be amazing, Rochelle. But so was Normandy and, and it's worth going to see. Yeah, California, absolutely. Could do some papers and pen shopping in Japan as well. Oh, he's too. Six and four, wow. Yeah, thank goodness they were young. Oh, those are pugs. Okay, yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, they have beautiful papers in Japan. Pugs and Frenchies. Okay, see, I don't know. Oh, is it hard on them? Why? Because they're just tiny? Mm -hmm. Mine doesn't have a hard time breathing at all. That's why quality. And health. Ah, okay, see, yeah. Mm -hmm. They had to do C-sections for birthing their babies, don't they? Oh, poor things. I think so. When you think we do have you have an embossing powder that looks, looks like, like leather? leather? What are you trying to emboss, Wendy? Tell me more. Oh, Japan has some interesting everything. Like, mm -hmm. even their vending machines are like, what? Yeah. Like, I've seen some videos on YouTube of their vending machines mm -hmm. in Japan, and I'm like, get out of here. I'm going to start crafting. I better get out of here. I kid you not. I'm about ready to start picking up ATCs and start going. So, so I, I better stop. I start getting the itchies and then I'm like, ooh, I should be crafting. I want to go buy ice cream for, from the vending machine. I love the Coca-Colas too. Have you guys seen those Cokes where they, um, I guess when you screw them or something, then they freeze instantly they just and frost over oh my gosh yes but the sound effects and Hi, everything Abril. Abril says I'm late. hey abril you're not well you are but it's okay we're getting out of here soon we were just chit chatting about half a million dollars <laughs> don't ask but if you i know you know atcs and you know pocket letters actually abril has made some amazing pocket letters if you want to see somebody who can make killer pocket letters or her. Yeah, check out her brills. She does beautiful ones. What are you typing? I want to see. I want to show them some examples of pocket letters. Oh, I gotta go close the windows. It's gonna drop. The temperature's dropping. So see what I mean? They're like a theme. I want. A brill says I want. You want what? A million. I know we all do, honey. I have we painted all. all so. I have some painted oxides and other interesting powders from the company. When you see how it's like a theme. Here's another one. This is like a fall one. 
here's like a tag one, I guess. That's kind of neat. Angel. She says, go now, Good night, her. Angel. Yes, or we, here's another fall one. See what I mean? That you could put embellishments on the outside as well. So those are like in between the, the um, sleeves. Um, oh, look at this purple lavender one. That's so cool. And then this one. See how in this case it continues? Like we were talking about, if you have bigger things, you can do, you know, one. Here's a butterfly also that was split in half between two of the ATCs. So it continues. So pocket letters are also fun. And yes, then what we can wait. do is, oh, hang on, Michelle just sent me something. Out magicals for this as well. Oh, that's pretty. Who made that? Oh, cool, Rochelle. Here's a pocket letter Rochelle just shared with us. That is so pretty. See? Um, oh, I love the flip-flops. I recognize those flip-flops, and I recognize that background. I know those things. Uh, mm -hmm, when you mm -hmm. said I was hoping for embossing folder to powder to use when a leather bag, but I want it to be more. <sighs> How cool. So the back, mm -hmm. they sent stuff about like um what i want to say um mm -hmm. regional stuff or or stuff about that state like some of the symbols and what they mean so it ha i love history i love anything like that oh my gosh that is so cool what a great idea so no, says, are those pocket pages yes these are the pocket letters that i was telling you about so it's like a bunch of atcs that form a theme yep Yep, they do. And you get to embellish the outside of the pocket as mm -hmm. well. You can also do the side. See how they even did a tag hanging off of the pocket sleeve? So in this case, you get nine ATCs. And on the back, you get to fill it with goodies. Or in this case, like um, Rochelle was just showing us, mm -hmm. the person that she swapped with on the back, they did uh, information about their state, you know, some of the symbols, what it means, you know, maybe a recipe like that would be so cool. Oh, look at this Halloween one. Yeah. How pretty. And look how they decorated uh, the side. Is, is that a brand we carry? Uh, is what a brand we carry? Which one? Okay. I was hoping for an embossing powder to use what is leather, what looks like a leather bag. Okay. So how big is the, the piece? How how big is it? Like, is it like something small? Or are we talking about like a purse? Okay, yes, yeah, that's after texture medium or embossing patterns are so cool. We have some and I keep forgetting to bring them, Liz, Lindsay. I also have a brand new product that was released in Creativation. And so help me, the box has been sitting. See, this is what maybe I can do. You know, I was telling you, maybe we'll do like a quick um, Wednesday pre-Black Friday sale. Or something, maybe that's what I can do. Just focus on one oh. product because I got to show you that stuff. And I've been meaning to in time. Never, I never have enough time. What you, Lindsay says, I think she's talking about Seth Dapner. We do carry. We carry his um, Fabric. fabrics. We carry his um, sprays. We carry his uh, texture pastes. Um, so I carry quite a few things from him. Yes, the baked texture. And yep. Needs. Okay, so... So, 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 uh, I love how she did the back of her ATCs. They're all Puerto Rico. Exactly. That is so cool. I love that. <gasps> Rochelle, what a good idea. Maybe after New Year's, we, can do, we can do a pocket letter swap. And it's got to be stuff on the back about your state. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, I want to know more about Indiana, okay, so like the state eight. bird, a recipe, you know, or more we about can't. California or Hawaii or Puerto Rico or, Texas. you know, Texas. And that would be so cool. Like, the front could be any theme you want, but the back, you know, could be, like, specific about that state. So you get the a little bit of history with a pocket letter. The I love it. It's been ages, though. I miss making them. Yeah, you're really good. You need to I'm make in, them. Michelle says I'm in. I know, right? Okay, Rochelle, don't let me forget because I will forget by that. January. <laughs> so when I'm looking for ideas for swapping, uh, just remind me like after the new year and say, hey, Maddie, for Feb, let's do that, you know, and then we'll do that for February. Yes, when he says I That'd like the state idea. Yeah, me too. How fun. Hi, Auntie. Oh, it could be. Hey, Auntie. She says, 
I just got home from a crafting sale. Two more days. I'm tired. I'm doing great. Oh, my gosh. You have two more days? <gasps> How'd it go, though? Did you do great? I hope you guys did raise a lot of money. Oh, that'd be cool. What? So, like, the front could be about the state. That'd be cool. So, like, I would great. do Florida. This is great. Florida themed cards in the front and it could be like beach and you know that kind of stuff palm and then trees. palm trees flamingos the back would be facts or maybe little things about florida even if you find like little um things that you can include in the pocket that is florida related like a specific maybe tea that is uh florida um postcard. you know yeah postcard or little you know recipes Yes, that'd be Uncle cool. Says two more days. She said, "Great." Oof, two more days. Wow, that's a long sale. That's a lot of yeah. State birds, state flowers. Definitely a food. That'd be fun. <laughs> no, Don, you, you don't put food in there. Well, we could. It depends on the food, like saltwater taffy. We could throw some of those in in the package. Maybe. That'd be fun. Okay, my lovelies, we have great ideas already for um. For even for Feb. Let's see how the me. ATC swap goes. Uh, what, honey? Oh, she says she missed me, sweetheart. So Aww. I her Tomorrow, Auntie, is going to be fun. Guess what? The girls are in control. So it's just Kateri, Madison, and I doing the sale. And so we've decided we're going to do 10 and under. Everything I'm going to show you tomorrow is less than $10. And we have a new game that we're going to play mm, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Oh, she says they made chips. That's right. Sure. Anything that's in the state. Kahlua. Okay. Uh, right? Oh, Kahlua is yummy. That is, that is yummy this stuff. Is, oh, awesome. Yeah, so tomorrow's going to be fun. And and there is no, um, for those of you who missed the announcement, and it's in the description box of tomorrow's sale already. But, um, mm. yay. Oh, you're going to be at the sale. Oh, that's okay. We'll miss you. But I'm sure you're having fun. And but try and pop in. Yeah, pop in. Because we're going to have some great deals. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm combining all of the invoices all next week. So starting from Saturday. Till next Saturday, all of the days that we're going to be on, like Black Friday, pre-Black Friday, et cetera, et cetera, all of those are going to be combined. So you only get one bill to pay and you only get one shipping to pay too. So yes, Kateri says we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. You know, we're just going to, yeah, we are unsupervised tomorrow, guys. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so it's not gonna be fun. We'll see you all tomorrow. Sorry. And then of course we're gonna see you again on Sunday for the magicals. I'll get the um the supply list up by tomorrow noon. How's that? Give me yes, give me time. I have my wallet already. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a good, good chance to really score some really cool You're stuff. Welcome. Well, you're welcome, Wendy. She says, thank you for going over everything tonight. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so glad. And then, yeah, if you guys have any questions, shout them out. But I hope you will join the ATC event. I hope that you now feel a little bit more comfortable with knowing how easy it is to make an ATC and that pretty much anything goes and that you feel comfortable with either trading or not trading. But definitely, if you've never made one, make one. If it's been a while, do one anyway, because you know what? Why not? And <laughs> then, you make a zero? know what? Something about Maddie Madison, something boxes. If we are unsupervised, then can't be there, Maddie Madison, because you're the bosses. Can't what? If we are unsupervised, then you can't be. Oh, Madison, that's right. Oh, but she's a cool boss lady. <laughs> she's the first one to be like, yeah, slash everything. <laughs> um, did I put the. Uh... No, did I do it already? Wendy, I'm in a fog. I'm not kidding. Well, you guys have no idea the amount of stuff that I'm pumping <laughs> on this end. Did I put the supply list already? Sell out, sell out the store, Auntie says. I did. Look at how effective I am. All right. So thank you. 
Wendy, you just totally saved me some stress, like a lot of stress. In the event already in the academy, you've got your supply list. So there you go. You have it already. Gather some of that stuff up. Get it ready for, um, so it's been all up for like a week or more. Um, gather up your supplies for Sunday. And then, like I said, I will do the one for Tuesday. That I haven't done. I just decided that we're going to do that on Tuesday. So um, I think Madison is fully on recovery track. And, um, you know, other than having to help her with, you know, maintaining the wounds and all that stuff, I think that we're pretty much going to have... Um, yeah, we're going to be able to to breathe a little bit more. So, I say I we I say we do a live class on on Tuesday. That I mean, a craft along. I say we all craft um on bit. Tuesday and make the graphic 45 I album together. So I'll be alive then. Auntie says. Oh, Auntie, no, seriously, don't overdo it, please. But I've missed you guys so much. I I like it's like an addiction. <laughs> You guys are like, no. you guys are like my, you know, you're my friends. Yes, Barbara says craft along. So, so I definitely want to hang out with you guys. I want to chat. I want to do what we're doing tonight. And, you know, I want to make pretties with you guys. So I think we'll do the album together. How's that? We'll wing it. It's not going to be like a totally official class, so to speak, because it's not going to be all formal and stuff. We'll just kind of wing it because there, there will be a video. For those of you panicking and going, what? There is already a video that I've been working on for how to put that album together. So this is just going to be a bonus. Okay? Auntie says, I'm trying not to. Yeah, you put your limitations too, Auntie. You know, you can say no. You know, I, I'm horrible at saying no, but you can say no. You're a strong woman. You go ahead and say, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to sit down or I'm going to take a break. Rochelle says, praise God. Amen. Which album, Barbara says? Oh, the Graphic 45 tag album, remember, Barbara? The one for, for this. I'm going to clean this mess. If you guys saw the mess I have, I pulled out so many things. <laughs> She says Wednesday I'm driving back to the creek. To Battle Creek. Do you know which one I'm talking about, Barbara? You got it. Okay, cool. So yes, so Sunday, so tomorrow sale, S Sunday, um, magicals. Take a break on Monday. Tuesday we'll craft together and do the uh, tag album. Very mm -hmm. informal. I'm thinking that maybe if we do, we can at least have maybe um, nine people on the panel. You know, like we can do it like a craft, craft along. I can nine. only have nine, okay? Because obviously the all. limit is 10. Um, well, eight, because Gateria will be there to help me mod. So I can have eight people on the panel um, with us. And I will keep it on me like this. But, or maybe I can do like smaller time. No, I'll keep it on me. But when you guys want to show me stuff and I'll keep everyone muted because otherwise we'll never get through it. But when you guys have questions or we want to show what we're doing, then I can always click on you guys in between, okay? We'll try and see how that Wendy flows. Says, if you don't make a mess you, and you're not crafting. That's right. I'm doing it wrong. If you don't have a big old mess for like a little ATC, you're doing it wrong. Says my <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's cool. Just something. Oh, how cool, Brian. That's nice. That's nice, Brian. So just something for more you have to do and clean up on your Of mess. course we do. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to go and eat something. I'm sure you guys are hungry too. It's 8 o'clock here, so and then it's time to start um, picking up and, yeah, getting ready for bed. But I will see you all tomorrow. Again, keep an eye out. We might go early, right, Kateri? We'll see. We'll talk about Ooh, it tomorrow. This is my first residential to have a spot on, at the craft fair. That's awesome. So happy. All right, my lovelies. I will see you all tomorrow. Love you all. Good night.